the question is is it true that the guru finds the disciple okay that is the question being asked and <clears throat> honestly that is true okay that is true but there is a catch okay there is a catch <clears throat> the guru finds the disciple that is true that is a true statement but the disciple um, needs to be ready so that the guru will come it is something like if the fruit is ripe fruit is ready to fall just because you want the fruit if you go and pluck it it is not a ripe fruit it may be sour so the disciple there is something the disciple needs to do from his side in spirituality they say you take one step guru will take thousand steps that is also true that is also true these are all true statements but you have to take the first step if you don't take the first step guru will never take any step okay so coming back to the original question does the guru find the disciple yes it is something like you want to apply for an engineering college okay you want to study in an engineering college let us put it that way you want to study in a very good engineering college okay when you want to study there and uh, some you spoke to some of your seniors they said that uh, finally the engineering college will write you a letter stating that you are being admitted that is the final step you heard that some of your senior students they got this letter saying that uh, dear student and you are being given admission in our engineering college please come on that day at that time at this place and pay the fee and join as a student you you heard that some of your seniors received this letter that is true does it mean that you want to study in this great engineering college and you just wait for the letter to come how many things you do before you receive the uh, letter the admission letter before you receive how many things you have to do if you are a student you would know how many things you need to do i don't have to repeat all those things now in the same way you need to do lot of things for the guru to come and knock the door it is true guru will come and knock the door but for that you need to prepare yourself to to become a student in the in that great engineering college you need to raise your standards so that you you will be a right fit in the engineering college in the same way you need to raise your spiritual practices so that guru will start working with you immediately see gurus don't have time to waste they don't have time to waste because they they want to help as many, as many people as possible so you need to raise your standards in terms of spirituality how do you do that just spiritual practices what practices what spiritual practices is good so that you can grow your standard any spiritual practice that you think is good today let us say you come to know meditation is good start practicing meditation tomorrow you came to know maybe after one month of practicing meditation uh, somebody told you uh, like uh, breath awareness vipassana is the best meditation practice that after few months somebody told you zen type of uh, uh, walking with awareness is the best meditation practice that because you are not under the guidance of a guru at this stage you are a guru unto yourself 
you are trying different things. Somebody told you, not meditation, start doing rituals. Start doing that also. Somebody says, uh, practicing yoga is good for enlightenment. Practice that. But there is an underlining thread in all these practices. That is sincerity. You need to be absolutely sincere. Even if you practice meditation for just five minutes, even if you do a ritual for a few minutes, whatever it is, you need to be sincere. It is not something like uh, um, when you get up in the morning, you just brush your teeth and you just shower. See, when we are brushing our teeth and when you are uh, showering, we don't have our awareness there. It is like, like a chore, like one of those things that you have to finish. That's all. We don't have awareness there. We don't have like a, the, the true essence of meditation, the way it was taught to you. Are you practicing in that way? Whether the rituals, whatever it is, whatever it, the best knowledge you have at that moment of time, practice that with sincerity. That is the only thing that is needed until Guru comes to you. Whatever you feel is the right thing. Let us say meditation is there. Practice meditation. Maybe morning 15-20 uh, minutes or half an hour or one hour. Whatever you can do. Somebody says that just like how you prepare for engineering exams. Somebody says that read this book. Go and read that book sincerely. Read, read books, read scriptures, meeting people. There are so many satsangs happen with only one idea that you want to increase the spirit quality of your spiritual practice quality is more important so once you reach certain level what level nobody knows that nobody can tell you that nobody knows that only the guru your your right guru he only knows it where he is now nobody knows only thing possible for you increase your quality of your spiritual practice Guru will come and knock the door. That's all. That is, that is the way. That is the only thing that you need to do if Guru has already not, has not yet knocked the door. Keep doing your spiritual practices with utmost sincerity. Then I tell you, your Guru will come and knock your door. Thank you.